Hello everyone, welcome to Small Terrible Channel. Let's have lesson 3.2, Codominance. Codominance is another non-Medillion pattern of inheritance. This is second to incomplete dominance that we had discussed previously. This occurs when one allele is not dominant over the other. That means both traits of parents are expressed in the offspring. Let's have the example directly. A good example of pattern of inheritance which codominance is applicable is human MN blood group. There are actually several blood group systems discovered by experts. One of them is the MN blood type. MN, M and N are actually antigens found in the surface of the human red blood cells. Okay? This group of antigen is controlled by a pair of codominant alleles, the LM and the LN. Let's have the table directly so that you'll understand. Column 1, first column you have blood types. Second column is genotypes. Okay, blood types. When you see blood types, we're referring to the physical appearance. Okay, the phenotypes. Okay, now if the blood type is M, that means it has an antigen of M. The genotypes is LM, LM. Okay, remember that. When the blood types is MN, what is the genotypes? The genotypes is LM, LN. When the blood types is N, the genotypes is LN, LN. Let's apply what we have learned. First, you remember that M is codominant over N and N is codominant over M. Let's have an example. When the father has, um, has an M blood type, the genotype you write should be LM, LM based on the table. You see? When the mother has an N blood type, the genotype, what is the genotype? It should be LN and LN. Combine them. LM combined with LM, the result is LM, LN. LM combined with LN, rather LN, the result is LM, LN. That means all four offsprings has a blood type of MN. The genotypes, if you look at the genotypes, LM, LN, all four of the offspring, the genotypes is LM and LN. That means 100% genotypes LM, LN. What is the phenotype or the blood type? When you talk about blood type, we're referring to the phenotype, physical appearance. It is 100% MN blood type. Okay, let's have try solving this. Express the possible phenotypes and genotypes of offspring whose blood, father's blood type is MN and mother's is M. Remember, what is the blood type of the father? MN. So what should be the genotype? It should be LM, LN. What is the mother's blood type? M. It should be LM, LM. Combine them. LM times LM is equal to LM, LM. And so on. So if you look at the offspring, there are four offspring. What is the phenotype? Physical appearance or the blood type? It's 50% M, LM, LM. So there are two LM. That means that phenotype is M. There are two LM, LN, that means the 50% MN. Okay, that means for MN blood type, it means it has M and N antigens. For M blood type, it means it has only M antigens. This is called principle of codominance because M and N, when combined, they coexist with each other. No one, none of them is dominant over the other. That is, that is why it is called codominance. Okay. Now for phys, uh, genotype, all you have to do is you have to copy the genotypes inside the box. There are two LM, that means 50%. Two out of four, 50%. Then there are two LM, LN, that means 50%. A very clear and easy to understand example of Codominance, pattern of inheritance, is the roan for in cattle. Meaning to say, yung balahibo ng baka. When you combine pure red cattle and pure white, what is the result of the offering? Ano yung kolay ng anak? It is roan. Unlike when it comes to 4 o'clock flower, when you combine red flower with white flower, the result, the offspring, yung anak, is pink. But that is not applicable in cattle. Yung baka, hindi applicable yan. So, you haven't seen 
a 4 or balahibo ng baka na pink. So, when you combine red and white, the result is roan. Okay? Let's have an example. So, based on this figure, if you look at this, you have red combined with white. The genotype for pure red cattle is capital R, capital R, or RR. And the genotype for pure white is capital W or WW. So, let's combine RR times R WW. The result is RW. So, there are four offspring. One, two, three, four. What is the genotype? All are RW. 100% RW is the genotype, the genes. Okay. How about the phenotype? Refer to the color. All are? When you see, see RW, what is the color? It should be brown. Combination of red and white. Okay. You can uh, solve the problem by yourselves because that's very easy already. Okay. Here's the result or the solution of the problem two. So I hope you have we have the same answer. So remember the it's the bull, red-haired bull. That's RR. Roan. That's RW. So you have here RR, RR. So 50% red and 50% roan. The third type of non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance is what we call multiple alleles this means that a gene that exists in three or more allelic forms are called multiple alleles a good example of this is the abo blood type if you observe a b o there are three okay now let's proceed to the table directly now you have three parts of columns of the table antigenes present blood types genotype let's start with the blood types in human, there are four blood types. You have type A, type B, type AB, and type O. So what is your blood type? In my case, I am type A. Now, for blood types A, the antigen that is present is A. For blood types B, the antigen that is present is B. And for type AB, the antigen that is pre present is AB. And for blood types O, there is no antigen present that is why o is called the universal donor it can donate to everyone okay. now for blood types you have genotypes we see genetic composition okay. so for blood type a the genotypes there are two genotypes a ia ia and ia i okay remember for blood types b you have ib ib and you have ib small i okay you have a B, you have I B, I A I B rather, and for blood type O, you have small letter I, small letter I. Remember genotypes. Okay. Uh, let's try to answer exercise two. I know it is in your answer key uh, sheet, but answer key rather, but you have to get familiar with this principle because if you don't understand the principle, you'll not be able to solve problems. A gene for blood type A is dominant over the gene for blood type what? It should be blood type O. Remember, if you observe, you have here the blood type O, the genotype is small letter I. That means this is recessive. This is recessive. Okay? This is recessive. Remember. Okay. Second, a gene for blood type B is dominant over the gene for blood type what? It is still O. Okay? That means B is dominant over O. A is dominant over O. That is why here in your table, if you observe, you have IA and small letter I. Still, the blood type is A. Why is that, sir? If you observe, there is a genotypes for O, the small letter I. But how come it is still the blood type still letter A? Remember, I or O is the recessive over A. And still here in blood type B, you can see here there's a letter small letter i this is a genotype of type o remember but how come the blood type is b remember still b is dominant over o that is why here with the i still the blood type is b remember that principle now the gene the gene for blood type ab is not dominant over the gene for blood type B. Okay, remember, the gene for blood type A is not dominant over the gene for blood type B. My, my, my mistake. 
Why is that, sir? Because A is codominant with B. B is codominant with A. None of them is dominant over the other. They coexist, means they are codominant. Okay? Now, number four, uh, the gene for blood type B is not dominant over the gene for blood type A because they are codominants. Okay? Or codominant. Number five, you have the gene for blood type A, or rather O. O is recessive to genes both A and B, or both B and A. Remember, blood type O, recessive over O A and B. Okay. I hope you understand. Let's uh, proceed. So, let's try to solve the problem. Okay. Pretty sure you are confused with the answer key. Let's solve this problem. You have given here blood father's blood type, mother blood type, blood mother's blood type, and what are the possible blood type of the children? Let's combine. Let's have an example. Uh, using a Punnett square. Okay, let's uh, solve number one. Father is type A, mother is type B. In this case, there are two possible combination. Father type A, you can use IA, IA. Mother is type B, you can use IB, IB. Either way, all the offspring in this case is all type AB. Because it's IA, IB. That means the blood type is AB. That's, that is why we have AB. Next combination, possible combination, we have IA and I. Still, remember, this is still father is type A. Remember this type A. You have mother is type B. You can also use IB and small i. Okay, based on the table. So possible combination, result of the offspring, you have IA and IB. This is type AB. You have IA and I. This is type what blood type? It is blood type A. That is why we have A. You have IB and I. What type is this? This is still blood type B. That is why you have type B. How come there is type O, sir, when the father is A and the mother is B? Because you will combine small i, small i. What is the result? You have i, small i, small i. This genotype, the blood type is type O. That is why, very amazingly, if the father is type A and the mother is type B, you have four possible blood type. If you can solve this number one, you can solve the rest of the problem. Thank you very much. See you in the next uh, tutorial. Thank you for uh, watching uh, Small Terrible YouTube channel. Please do wag nyong skip yung harang so that you can help us. At the same time, we can help you. So keep on watching our channels so that you will learn a lot. We are not actually uh, making you lazy, but rather we're helping you to understand the concepts better because we believe that the module itself cannot explain by itself because there are really people who need explanation okay so continue to watch our channel and then continue also to learn by yourselves do not be dependent to our channel but rather make this an instrument or a shall we say milestone so that you will be able to learn more okay